Hi there, I'm Camber Potter for That's My Entertainment, and I am here live on the red carpet at the 2013 San Diego Film Festival. Now, just a few moments ago, we watched the premiere of the phenomenal feature film watercolor postcards. It was the West Coast premiere, and it was very exciting. I, I had never seen the film, and it was such an honor to see it, and it's an even bigger honor to be here with award-winning director Rajiv Dasani. Now, Rajiv, thanks for joining us, and I would love to hear your take on, walk me through the process of directing this film. Yeah, it was absolutely amazing. You know, when I when I first read the script, I just saw such an emotional, character-driven journey, and just this this portrait of a small town struggling to survive. It it mirrored so many people's experiences right now in the world, and you know, in the U.S. Um, in particular. And I just fell in love with it, and really everything came together from amazing actors to locations to the cinematography. It just it just was a magical experience, and I think it, you know a lot of effort, a lot of work, but we, I think we just made something that people genuinely have never seen a screening of it where someone didn't cry or tear up, and that that's the true mark of uh, hopefully having done something that affects people. So. Absolutely, I know I was definitely trying to fight back the tears in several instances. It's it's full of ups and downs, and I think it, it compels you to stay in the you know follow the story with the the characters. You really feel like you know them. Now, what was it like to work with Laura Bell Bundy and Bailey Madison? Oh my goodness, phenomenal acting job yeah. but all, from all of the cast but especially those two young women fantastic how was it working with them I was absolutely amazing you know I mean ultimately the I think what the film really relies on is believing and buying this relationship between this young woman returning to the hometown and the half-sister she left behind and, and really those two women they embodied the characters and you could feel on screen they really you could feel that they generally loved each other and I could I could you know I it was amazing watching them bring it all with almost no effort. I mean, really, they, they brought everything to the table. And, um, you know, Laura Bell was amazing. She is a, is a great singer as well. And I think she brought the, the passion and compassion of her music to the uh, to the role, as well as to the singing. And Bailey's just an old pro. She really knows what she's, I mean, she's 13, but she's <laughs> an old pro and knows exactly what she's doing. And really just, I think she reveled in being able to do something so complex and subtle. And I really think she brought her A-game to it. And it was, it was wonderful. So. Absolutely. I would say that the acting and the cinematography, every aspect of this film, I thought was very impressive. So it was an honor to watch it. And, you know, it's a great privilege of being able to interview you and, and get to know a little bit about the directing side of Watercolor Postcards. So what can we look for next with Watercolor Postcards? Sure, absolutely. Well, you know, we, we have a few, fest a few festivals coming up. Uh, Kansas International Film Festival, for example, Malibu, a few others. Um, and we're also negotiating right now for, for a theatrical run. And, you know, exactly how big it is and where it plays is still uh, a matter of, you know, negotiation. We'll figure it out. But uh, we had a lot of interest. A lot of people really liked the movie. And uh, we really want to share it with as many people as possible. So we're hoping that happens soon. Well, I may not be an expert, but I think that there's definitely potential for this film. And uh, everyone should watch it. It's, it's fantastic. Where can viewers go or fans go right now to see um, the trailer or to... Um, the watercolor postcards, the movie.com is the website. Is there anywhere else they can go? Um, basically, you know, YouTube, Vimeo, they can search for the trailer on, on both those sites. That website, uh, watercolor postcards, the movie.com is the place to go. And uh, from there, there's a lot of uh, interviews with various cast members, with the director out on the internet. We've been playing the festival around, so it's all kinds of media percolating in the world. So you can please, pl you know, please check us out. So. Absolutely. Well, be sure to catch watercolor postcards when it is in a theater near you. I'm Canberra Potter. That's my entertainment. What's yours?